Welcome back to the Armenian Museum of America. I'm Gary Linsonani, I'm the curator, and I'm, uh, I'd like to share some more objects from my collection with you. We have many books in our library. We have th over 32,000 works in the library. Uh, but some of them are pretty singular, or uh, very interesting stories behind them, and this is a group right here. This is Uncle Tom's Cabin in Armenia. And this is the 1854 edition. The first printing of the first translation and printing of Uncle Tom's Cabin. Uncle Tom's Cabin was written in 1852 by Harriet Beecher Stowe in, in Connecticut. And of course, it was a story of, of a slave in Kentucky, Uncle Tom, and the abuses and the um, how he had it and what's the kind of things he had to endure throughout his life when he dies in the, in the novel. It was a, a melodrama, but it was the, basically. Um, the first real political novel in America that really addressed politics and a political issue, namely slavery. Um, and it was published in 1852. It was, became an, a massive uh, success. In, the, in one year, it sold over 200,000 copies in the United States. That was extraordinary. In Britain, it sold over a million copies. And, and in the 19th century, it was the second most published book, most read book after the Bible. Uh, and, and so other countries began translating and publishing immediately. The French translated in 1853 and the Armenians in 1854. And this is the Armenian edition here. And the, the language is interesting because it's um, not quite Western Armenian. The Armenian language had kept evolving from classical. And so the language used in this book is basically late medieval Armenian, the kind of language that was used by merchants and priests when corresponding with each other. Uh, so it wasn't the, quite the modern Armenian yet. It was close to it, but not quite. And so this is uh, the first volume in this uh, Armenian dialect. Uh, it was published in Vienna, of course, not guitarist behind it. Another interesting thing about it, which you find in many books of the 19th century, uh, those that survive today, it's the various stamps of various libraries that have owned the book at various times. At one time, this was part of a collection in Constantinople. Later, the book became uh, in New Britain, Connecticut, as far as the, where the book came from. And these books would be passed down, and uh, many communities had little Armenian libraries in them, which would be the essentially the, the men's clubs. And so the men would... Uh, have these little book collections there would also serve as a place of uh, education, arguing, reading, uh, the intellectual center of the community. And this was the one in New Britain, Connecticut. This is the first volume of the book. It was published in two volumes. This is the second volume. And this one was in a library in New York, an Armenian collection in New York. And so these are the two volumes, and later they published it as both volumes together into a much thicker volume of one and two together. As I said, this was all this early Armenian, earlier Armenian dialect. And one of the interesting things about the book is the author. They don't, it's not Harriet Beecher Stowe, it's Henrik, Henry Beecher Stowe, a male name. I don't, they must have known that the author was a woman, but why they changed the name to a male name for the first edition, I don't know. But they did. Um, they, later on, this book was republished again in 1906 where they got the name right, Harriet Beecher Stowe. And this is published in Western Armenian. This is modern Western Armenian, this edition of it. But it's uh, <clears throat> and later on in Eastern Armenian. This is a book published during the Soviet period, uh, 1955. And again, Uncle Tom's Cabin in Eastern Armenian. And sometimes they wonder what kind of impact the story of Uncle Tom had on Armenians. The story of Uncle Tom's Cabin, Uncle Tom was basically a saint and the fact that he had this, all these abuses against him all the time. And throughout it all, he maintained his dignity, and he just accepted it and, and tried to withstand it, uh, to endure. Uh, the term Uncle Tom today is very negative, because you see, Uncle Tom was, because he was so passive, he was enabling them, and he should have been more aggressive against them, etc. That kind of book would not have been published in the 19th century. They would never have allowed it. And so Uncle Tom was a Christ figure, who was constantly abused by everybody, yet maintained his self-worth and his Christian identity throughout the novel. Uh, in fact, when they tried to make a solid movie about Uncle Tom's Cabin in, in 1927, the act, first actor they hired to play Uncle Tom got fired 
because he was playing Uncle Tom too aggressively. That, and they didn't want aggressive. They wanted somebody very passive. It was like the Lamentations of Job. You know, these, all these tribulations visited upon the man. Uh, but anyway, we have many editions of Uncle Tom's Cabin, and he is part of Armenian history, too, now. <clears throat> the Armenian he Library is here to share our stories, our history, our culture with you, the public. Uh, we hope you come to the museum and can visit us. We're open Monday, uh, Monday, Saturday, Sunday, 12 to 6. This is the 50th anniversary of the museum, and there's no better time to join. So please visit our website uh, if you want to join the museum. All the details are there. Thank you for joining us today, and stay safe.